Dang it. Tell me. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> hey everyone! Surreal Canine here. Welcome back from our Golden Sun, The Lost Age. In the last episode, I believe we cleared Magma Rock, and we got the, uh, Magma Ball, and in this episode, we are going to use it to travel to the north. We only have... I believe we only have six gin left to get in the entire game, I think. Let's confirm that. One, two, three... Yeah. Six left. We're getting some of them in the post-game, some of them in the Mars Lighthouse, but... We are well on our way to completion of this game, up into the Northern Reaches. Go up this way and see that there is ice here. And I'm going the wrong way. And monsters! Oh boy! I'm doing this episode a little differently than normal. I'm actually uh, I'm actually streaming this live while I'm recording, so this will be a bit of an experience, I suppose. I should turn the volume down a little bit. Ooh, Phoenix. I'm gonna say that much. Alright, so. Hydras! Oh boy, Hydras are cool too, I suppose. Um, right, ice. And now I've got a wall of ice. Craven, come look at this. There's a huge ice wall blocking the path. Nothing to worry about, Jenna. We'll just have to use that cannon we got in Loco. That's right, the cannon can blast away a stone wall. Think what it'll do to ice. So let's take us between those two blocks of ice for shelter when we fire the cannon. <coughs> it should be safe if we fire from this distance. Okay, here we go. Felix, aim right at the ice wall and fire when ready. Fire the magma ball! Pshoo! <laughs> that is cool. Great, we did it! We can keep going now. Alright, let's head for the northern seas. Let's go! Nice horizon effect there, I kinda like that. But yeah, here we are in the uh, Arctic region where we can't really sail anywhere, so I'm gonna head on out and go by land. This is Prox, and talk about your laser. Everybody has blue skin. I get inside if you're cold. Felix, welcome back to Prox. Looks like only Mars Lighthouse still needs lighting. In case you didn't think you'd be coming back here, so I'm a little surprised to see you. Let's find lighthouses where the winds should weaken. They keep getting stronger, though. Let's look this boulder. And... Go ice skating for a bit because we've got a Mars gym up that gym up this way. We also have this. Also, I love the music here. It's just so impending doomish. Hey there, little genius <laughs> Sorry, little guy. 
Yay. He got caught in a snow drift. That's funny. That is our next uh, Venus gym. And now Isaac can be a Chaos Lord too. <laughs> Wonderful. I whoops. I believe Chaos Lords have the highest attack power in the game. I'm not sure if I've said that already, but I think that's what it is. So, given I like to have a physical damage party with one healer, this actually works out pretty well for me. Chaos Tony would do me good to get some fresh air, but I'm freezing. It's really so cold and bitter that we decide to hide out inside our igloo. Poor children, I don't understand what's about to happen to us. I just want them to be happy in the short time left to us. Hey, let's see what it is, right? A little bit. We would say that. You come from somewhere warm and sunny. We didn't have anything to play with, so we just decided to make this thing. <laughs> That's cute. Mm -hmm. As long as Lighthouse's fires are not rekindled, Prox will be destroyed, but that's not all. Eventually, Guy Falls will continue to erode, finally devouring all of Wayard. No one thought about our needs when they extinguished the Great Lighthouses. Now because of them, our great land is dying, crumbling away at the edges. Fox originally flourished because concerned adepts lit the fires of the Mars Lighthouse. Now we, the people of the Northern Flame, have been forgotten by the outside world. Hold up here in Crocs, but lately it's really getting worse. I've been keeping a close eye on the northern skies. Once I see a bright flash in the distance, I know the last beacon has been lit. I think it's supposed to be coming more than once I've got to do again. They're not here. That's strange. We look all over the village and we can't find a trace of them at all. Everyone says they practically vanished without a trace. It's so strange. I don't think they... They wouldn't have gone to the lighthouse. Yeah, you're probably right. Everyone's going to be upset that we didn't follow his orders to the freedom, though. He's clear about it, too, and Felix returns the clock set his parents free. The trouble of coming back to his parents and now they're just gone? Oops. <clears throat> Flo ordered me to set your parents free. That's why I'm here now. The only thing is, no one else is here. I don't know where your parents went. can't wait for Dacio and his men any longer. If we wait much longer, this wind and snow will make it impossible to reach the lighthouse. I'm going to the lighthouse. Any of you come with me? Well, I can't let you go on your own. If something were to happen to you, who would lead our village? Please, you must let us go in your stead. How can you expect to accomplish what Agacio and Karth could not? They may have been more powerful than any of us, but we can't just stand by. We're not coming back, just like Satyrus. You have to let us try. I can't. I can't allow it. Listen to your elder. He speaks wisely. He's speaking to you too, Quell. If Gacio and Kars cannot do the task, how can you, a single man, hope to do it? What are you saying? If we stand around debating, our town is doomed for certain. We can't risk sacrificing any more lives. So we must sit here and wait for a miracle of time. 
Felix, it's you. I heard that you were friends with us. You look so much stronger than when you left. <coughs> Seems to have brought some allies with him. Yes, I am Craven. My name is Isaac. Isaac. Isn't that... I just knew if we were going to it, so we killed Sephiroth and Minority. Isaac, stop that. You are correct, but Isaac had reason for fighting him. Sephiroth and Minari had invaded Vale, stolen the sacred treasure, triggered a volcano. You cannot blame Isaac for pursuing them and fighting to regain what they had stolen. We only wanted to stop them. We didn't think they'd fight us to the death. They flung themselves into the opening and Venus Lighthouse's beacon. Did Satyrus and Minardi put up a good fight? I bet you thought you didn't stand a chance against them, huh? You were probably really tense the whole time. Satyrus and Minardi had a job to do. That was all. I think in your shoes, I have done the same thing. I can't blame you. Again, yeah, you were stronger than they were. You should be proud of that. I am sad that they lost their lives in the quest, but there is no hope. What has happened cannot be undone. We should cooperate to find a way to save Rory. We understand that Agatio and Karst have made for Mars Lighthouse and not return. And all that remains for us is to wait until Gaia Falls carries us out for our doom. It seems that Mars Lighthouse is as dangerous as all the rest. We have only a few soldiers remaining, and none who can make it find to the area. I think Satros and perhaps Agatio were strong enough to reach the top. None of them can help us now. You think we can do it? Yeah. I agree, Felix. We've climbed three lighthouses already. What's one more? Let's go to Mars Lighthouse. They've proven themselves strong enough. I say we trust in Felix to do this. This is an unexpected turn of events, but yes, I think you can like the lighthouse. Off to the Mars Lighthouse! Let's go, Felix! Come on, Isaac! There's one thing that I don't want you to forget. In order to light the beacon at the Mars house, Lighthouse, you will need to have the Mars Star. Ah, and Agatio and Karst have the Mars Star now! You must find Agatio and Karst, and you must take the Mars Star from me. Thanks for your help. The future of Wave rests in your hands. There it is, Mars Lighthouse. There is the edge of the world. Kind of thing, isn't it?